All right, this is going to be a demo on how to open a model. Once you've saved models and uh, you want to retrieve them, a couple things you can do is you can click up here and hit My Content. If you click My Content, it will show you everything you've been doing. So currently I have 721 models saved um, throughout various collaborations. If you know a name to narrow down that search, you can click on or type in the name up here in the top. Type in a partial string of what it is you're looking for. And you can see that it's changed my search to 310. All right, if I know I'm looking for something called stack, I can type in stack and hit enter. And now I see just the two results. So if you know a name of what it is you're looking for up in the top search commands, key in your names and that will help you find them now the number one mistake I make is I always want to double click to open things in this case what you want to do is either right click on this or hit the down arrow and hit open and that's how you open up a model so if you have a drawing what I always recommend to do is open the drawing Once the drawing's open, you can go in here and look at the tree. Those symbols, the 3D, red and red means that the 3D model isn't open. It's not one of my available tabs. I have the model I started with when I created a model from scratch, or when I just open Katia, it defaults to a part design. I just closed that one off. Here is the existing model. I can search for it, but this technique will make sure that it finds the 3D model that's truly associated with the drawing. So if I right click on the top collector, it pulls up the contextual menu. Inside the contextual menu on the bottom, you see Open 3D Dataset. By selecting the Open 3D Dataset, it finds the part design model used to build this drawing. So now this is the proper one that is linked to the drawing. If I hit my tab on the top, back to the drawing, you notice that the specification tree now knows that the 3D model is currently up. Now you know for sure which model is linked to the drawing. And the part linked to the drawing, and uh, that's pretty much it, really. So what we've done here was just a quick little tip on how to find your models. Again, in the part design workbench or whatever workbench you're in, it doesn't really matter. If I close all these off, there's nothing up. Make sure you're in the correct collaboration on the top. Okay, so when you open up the 3D, it'll look like this or have a brand new part already up. Again, if you have to switch collaborations, you turn off the model that's on and then you'll get this Dassault system screen with the Dassault system screen open and this collaboration active it'll look for models inside that collaboration I'm gonna click here and type in the name I actually it remembers the names you've typed in previously so I just chose one existing already if I hit the down arrow or right click on this one you can hit open and open up the drawing Again, on the top collector in the specification tree, if you use your contextual menu, you can hit open 3D data, and it will find the 3D model that, we, that you were working with to build this drawing. That's your tip sheet on how to open models that you've saved. Again, caution, if you have saved a model, it may take 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes to actually get saved, so you may not see it when you do a search right away um, if you just saved it for the first time. Again, it goes to the cloud. Sometimes it's pretty quick. Sometimes it takes some time. So don't panic if it's not showing up. Give it a few minutes and wait for it to get in there. As long as you made sure you hit the save command before you closed off, it confirms that you are saving it and you should be good to go.